Hi there, I'm Adrian. Welcome to the Decades Challenge HBCU edition. As you can see, things are a little bit different in the Johnson household. I will explain what I've done, but guess what? Baby number four is on the way, so let's get to that. Where's our mom? Ruby May. Okay, let's get her indoors and up the stairs to have this baby. Here we go. Baby number four, it's so exciting. Oh, Mama Mary is there to help usher baby number four into the world. It is a girl! Yay! It's a girl. And what should we name her? Let's name her... Ruth Ann Johnson. There we go. Welcome to the world, baby Ruth. Uh-oh, see what I did there? Yay, our second girl. We have had a boy, girl, boy, and girl. And Ruby Mae is here. Ruth Ann is crying. So let's go ahead and get this baby off on the right track. I'm not sure where we're gonna fit all of these children as they grow, so we definitely need more money. And, um, oh, I forgot to change the money back. So I did take out $50,000 so that I could build the yard out. And because I did that, they have 50,000 in fi in, on file. Um, I, I'm gonna adjust that in a minute because obviously they, they haven't saved up $50,000, but I did wanna show you what I did in the backyard and, and why I did it. I was frustrated by the plants just not doing very well, but in reality, they were actually doing great. It's just that the organization was bad, so I couldn't really tell what was going on. So this is the summer garden. Everything here grows in summer. Some things grow in two seasons, as you know, but this is the summer garden. This is the fall garden, I think. Yes, this is the fall garden. So these crops grow in the fall. Some of them grow in the summer as well, but that is the fall garden. And the spring garden is here. So this is where those venerated strawberries are, but we're not gonna see those until spring. And I did this so that my farmers can or gardeners can focus their attention in the field that needs the attention and not have to run back and forth across the entire yard knowing that nothing's really going to grow in this area. Now these are all avocados. I had been saving good quality, nice avocados for a long time. And so I planted those. It's like 30 of them. It's a lot. So I planted the avocados and I planted uh, excellent only strawberries, I think. Yeah, I had so many excellent strawberries and excellent strawberry bushes that those are the only ones I planted. And I think this is basil here. Blackberry. Okay, so I've got a blackberry here, a few blackberries. On the other side, I kept the avocado, which I think need to be harvested. They're all nice. And I kept only the nice parsley. I did get rid of, I sold the not so nice parsley, um, the normal quality parsley, so that we only have the best stuff. Same thing with the sage, and this is a mixture of things. So parsley, basil, basil, and parsley. The fall garden here, uh, I, I, I don't think we, yeah, we, we've got a mixture of soy here. We've got grapes here. We haven't actually seen the grapes grow yet. And we've got some neat weeds here over in the noxious elderberries. Our trees are doing okay. I did splice a couple of things. I don't know what I spliced them with. I just randomly spliced them to see what would happen. And these are apple trees, which we are nice, but we haven't actually gotten apples in a long time. 
and these are our pear trees I don't think we ever got pears so there's the gar there are the gardens it'll be a little more organized I also put some chairs around the campsite like it was at the old place and yeah that's the work that I did so let me see how the kids are Gladys is sad but dad's got it in hand I think that's Ruby Mae there yeah that's Ruby Mae there so we will be working on baby number five in this episode and I'm also going to adjust our finances back down So I kept our finances at 3000 which I think represents uh, all of the stuff that we sold. We sold a ton of plants. We sold a ton of treasures that Mary had collected over the years. I'm trying to clear out Mary's um, invent personal inventory so that because I know that her time is coming. I'm not going to check to see when she's going to die. I do like to be surprised, unpleasantly surprised. So, but I do want to make sure that her inventory stays fairly empty so that we don't have to worry about trying to figure out where that stuff is. The house is a mess and I really need somebody to get in there and clean this place up. Mary is of course not the person to do that because you know, she's lazy. Oh, but she's doing laundry. I'm sorry. I'm aligned Mary and she's cleaning up. So thank you to her. I'm going to start getting the downstairs cleaned up of dust bunnies I think they're everybody's kind of unhappy because of the condition of the house so now it's time to clean it up good everything looks good here Thomas is on his way to get rid of those dust bunnies our little Gladys is dancing I wish they had a radio but I think she's just dancing to some tune in her head which is okay and there's our baby Hank All right, Mary's doing, it's been a while since we watched them do laundry. Mary's about to do laundry. Or maybe she's just going to sit by the dirty laundry. I don't know. Okay, there we go. She's doing it. Good. I'll leave Mary to that. I'll try to remember to come back later to um, get that stuff up on the line. Um, oh, Thomas is upset. I don't know why, but I want to see if he has homework. I don't remember if he did homework or not. Oops. Where is this homework? Ah, oh, drat. Okay, I think we've lost Thomas's homework, which just means we have to order another book. Oh, we have Tarot Root. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to go searching for it. I am going to go off camera for a second because I don't want to, because I'm going to have to add a computer to the game and order some books. Okay, so I've ordered a new homework book. I don't have a clue what happened to the last one, but I'm sure it will pop up um, at some point in the game and I'll be surprised and wonder where it came from. At any rate, I do want him to do his extra credit. Oh, he already did his homework. Now he's doing his extra credit. I, I also want to get him to learn to play the uh, violin. I'm kind of tossing around the idea of letting him be really musical, musically inclined because his father is musically inclined with this ugly old guitar. I think putting Thomas on the violin is kind of a status symbol. So... I think it might be something that an up-and-coming family might like to do to have their son study music because obviously if you need your children to work the land they're not going to have they're not going to be able to study music but if you want to demonstrate your wealth then yeah they would have then music lessons might be a great way to do that so I'm going to sell all the spinach I also, a couple of episodes ago, I added this bush here because we are having too many bathroom problems. So I thought this was a good way to get rid of them. Selling all the blackberries. Yes, I like this organization much better. Oh, why is he? Oh, Mary. Mary was doing laundry and she quit. And uh, 
dropped him on the ground. Not cool, Mary. Okay, I think the avocados can be harvested. Yeah, that's a good chunk of change. And uh, there's some harvesting to do here. Good. And there's some weeding that needs to be done. And I think I'll get Sam on the weeding and he can also sell all the basil. What else needs to be sold? We're doing really well at this moment. I don't know what I did, but maybe, um, maybe organizing the garden has had a positive effect on the garden. I don't know. I'm going with it. Okay, good. So Sam's got his marching orders. I'm going to check on the kiddos. Oh, well, mom's taking care of them. Okay. Okay. So Ruby Mae is talking. Yeah, she's teaching him how to talk. And Gladys is just outside staring at her brother because she wants attention and he has none to give. Sorry, Gladys. I wish there could be some toys out here she could play with. But there are not... Oh, wait a minute. She can play in the dirty water. That's always fun. Oh, no. Oh, yes, there she goes. I love... This is one interaction with laundry that I love. Because it's just fun. I know that they get lowered responsibility points, but I don't even care. Oh, Gladys. You do you, hon. Let me check on her skills. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. It's a bat attack. In three, two, there they are. Yuck. <laughs> So Gladys is actually doing really well. Um, if I can, I don't. If I can get her on those blocks, she can get her thinking up, and then everything will be at a really good level, except for potty. So let's get Gladys on thinking. She's working on imagination now, and I thought I had two sets of blocks. I guess I don't. I'm okay if Hank's Hank is actually doing well, considering he's a bit younger than Gladys. Gladys was born in the 1890s. Hank and Ruth Ann were born in the 1900s. So there are a few years between them. Even if Gladys was born in 1899 and Hank was born in 1900, they still were born in different decades. So I want to honor that and focus my attention on Gladys, who will age up sooner than Hank, obviously. I'm so happy with the garden as it looks now. It just looks so much better. Good, good, good. And there's Hank. Look at the, the babies get to... Oh, he's a smelly kid. The babies get to romp through the garden. How fun is that? I remember when my daughter was a baby, she spent a ton of time with her grandparents and her great-grandparents in their garden. And they they would just make it a playscape for her. They really, really made sure she had water and mud and projects and a swimming pool and berries to pick and, and fruit and vegetables to pull, pull up out of the ground and off the trees. And she really got an appreciation for vegetables and fruits and being outdoors. Okay, something's wrong with Thomas. I think he's upset about the, that bat thing. I'll check the homework to see if he actually did it. I, I'm not sure if he did. Now he has two homework books. Okay, fine. What are his skills? Let's see. Okay, he's doing well uh, with social. He's supposed to be a motor kid, and unfortunately we can't get him to play on the jungle gym, so he's not going to do well. Now, he's upset about the mess in the house, but I don't see any dust bunnies. And I think we're just going to have to deal with the dust in the house. Now, I had friends who lived out in rural Texas, and they built a house, and they had one big, beautiful open space, and then they had two wings. And one wing was off at the master suite and the offices 
and the other wing was the children's areas, play areas and bedrooms and stuff. And the they had so many doors and windows and they could just throw up the doors and let the air in. And so I asked my friend, how was it, how was the dust in the house? Because it would seem to me like the dust blew into that middle section all the time. And she said, yeah, it does. Uh, they didn't even have air conditioning in the middle section because it was so open. They didn't need to have AC and they had no way to cross the AC, to get the AC units or not units to get the AC uh, across the house. So it wasn't an option with the way that their house was built. And she said, well, we just, we just accept that there's going to be dust in the house and, and we move on with our lives. So I thought that was a really cool answer. All right. The baby's awake. Uh, Thomas, I really, really, really don't need your help right now. Where's Ruby May? Aw, he doesn't want this baby. Let me find out what's wrong with the baby before I just cram a bottle in his mouth, which is my own personal parenting style. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Uh-oh, something's wrong with, um... Gladys. Okay, she's feeling playful, and hurry up. I know it's dirty up here, whatever. Just go check on the baby. Oh, it wants to talk. Okay. Make a silly face, and rock it, and cuddle it, and coo at it. Okay, let me find out what's wrong with the toddlers. They're hungry. What is this? Oh, she's going to grab something, I guess. Somebody grilled something? No, there's, oh, there's food out here. Okay, so let me get Hank on his way out here as well. He must also be hungry. Yeah, he's hungry and tired. So he can grab us. Oh, he went to bed. Okay. Okay, Gladys can take care of herself. And another thing I did was put in another toddler bed because I forgot that when Hank grew up, they needed two toddler beds. So Hank is here in his grandmother Mary's room, Grand Mary's room, and Gladys is here in her brother Thomas's room. And there you have it. They have, uh, well, the bedrooms are now pretty tight, and Mary doesn't have her own space. And um, we're just going to be okay with that. Oh, I did want Sam to put an ad in for roommates. I wonder if I can do that here. Yes, okay. So my my theory about why they have such a big, beautiful house is they live somewhere near uh, either a, a train station or a, either a train station or a, sort of a metro area near the city and so they rent out their rooms the extra rooms that have their bachelor access which means that they hold on gotta take care of the baby first where's ruby may oh no 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 thomas i don't need you ah kid oh it drives me batty when they complain about the dirt but they don't actually actually contribute to cleaning it up Okay, so, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Ruby May should be on her way here, which she is. Good. And I was talking about the bachelor quarters, which are these two rooms in the front of the house that have their own access to the outdoors. And so I'm, if I can get roommates, I'll have the roommates sleep in these two rooms. And that way you'll see a steady presence of other people. Now, Hank is asleep, and Gladys was eating, but she's now fallen asleep on... She is just the most tragic little figure. <laughs> oh, poor Gladys. I'm going to put food in the main house so I can put it in the refrigerator. Okay, I'll leave Gladys there. She's not hurting anybody. She's not getting as much sleep as she could if she were in her own bed, but it's good enough. Oh, Ruby May is hungry. 
Guess what, Ruby May? There is food on the table. Yes, yes, there is. Okay, so you grab yourself a serving. What is? I need to get Thomas working on constructive things. Oh, okay, he's doing that. Have him practice on the violin, sort of get used to the idea of playing. I have a World War One storyline in mind for Thomas. I know he's going to go off to war. I'm not entirely sure if Sam is going to go off to war. I don't think a man of his age with um, property and family would go off to World War One, but rules are rules. So I, I, I don't know if I'm going to follow the rules and send him off, the, off to war or if I'm going to buck the rules and let him stay home which in reality I think he would be doing, but Thomas will definitely go off to war. And I've got a storyline in mind for Thomas, and I'm laying the groundwork for that now. Oh, I had Ruby May eat burgers. Ugh, forget she's vegetarian. Where's our little Hank? He was in bed. Okay, he's up now. Up and smelly. Can she change his diaper? I don't think telling a, to a hungry toddler that he'll be okay is the way to go. Okay, Hank's got some food, so he should be okay. I think that was his only serious need. Yeah, that's his only serious need. Thomas is doing well. He's tired, but he's not so tired he can't handle things. And Ruby is outside. I'm curious about where she's going. Oh, she's going to get Gladys. Where she was, and then she got distracted. Okay. is Gladys she is very tired well it looks like she's headed back and she's gonna go to bed so that's what we wanted for her anyway Hank was eating but he's still very angry where is he where is he going okay well I'm not sure why he's doing this where are you going there Hank food's not in there Oh, no, now he's got to go all the way back. Oh, he's going here to eat. Okay, well, that's a long walk for a piece of corn. Okay. All the parents are in Ruby in Gladys's room trying to figure out what's wrong with this poor kid. What's the matter, kiddo? I think he's going to read her to sleep and she'll be okay. He's level six. Thomas is tense, but you know, also making everybody else tense with his racket. And poor Hank is sad. The baby's doing okay. Ruth Ann is okay. Ruby May is okay. Everybody's taking care of Gladys. And Mary's asleep. Oh, she's asleep in her bed. I didn't see her come in. That's okay. Mary's going to be hungry soon, so I'm going to cue that up. And Mary hasn't gone fishing for a while, so I kind of want her to go on a fishing excursion. We have to find the cow plant at some point. We have to find the cow plant at some point. So I think I might send Mary on sort of a, an extended vacation in search of another pond. There we go. There's our little family. Some of them, not all of them. Oh, Mary is really angry. Hank has found his way back home and he's grabbing something to eat. I thought he had already eaten, but I guess he's still hungry. Where's he going now? Okay. Eat your food, uh, Hank.
No, 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 eat your food, little tyke. I don't know where he's going. We'll see where he goes, because I thought he was going to eat. He decided he didn't want to eat. Maybe some corn would help? I know he stinks. Mary's going to have to give him a bath, but I really want him to eat first. Come on, Hanky. Sam's cleaning up. I do want him to kill this dust bunny. And then I think uh, try for a baby would not be out of order here. 